didn't set out to write a poem about her knees. In fact, I was writing a response to a poem of Sylvia Plath called I Am Vertical. But my poem just took off in another direction. And it's since been published by an online magazine called I Am Not a Silent Poet, which I think is a very apt name. And I've appreciated the fact that people with other illnesses have said they've shared similar experiences. I am horizontal. I am horizontal, not as in having my body etched by the movement of sand as I rest after furious waves, nor as in absorbing chlorophyll from newly mown grass as I lie with my book. There is no photosynthesis for me. No luxury lies in my lying. I am not covered in clouds or staring at stars. I am cropped and pinioned, padded by pillows, muscles and joints soothed, softened by silver grey cushions. You may say this is a strange life, yet I share it with millions. We are rocky outcrops scattered. We are your hidden minority. We are the disappeared, not by war or revolution, nor by famine or hunger, but by viruses, bugs, bacteria, by caring and loving, by throwing ourselves in front of the tanks. If you want to see us, go look in beds, on sofas, on floors, in hospitals, in darkened rooms, in wheelchairs, on every continent, you will find us linked by screens and the thread running through. Our words stronger than us, travelling where we cannot go. Inside our bodies, inside ourselves, inside our nervous systems and organs, a strike has been called, no choice involved. Our bodies have closed down. Yet inside our minds, there are past lives intact in the memory. In cupboards sit boots and outdoor shoes waiting to be worn. In lofts are rackets running out of patience. In wardrobes are dresses dreaming of the dance. And inside I am growing back alive. My heart vibrates to the sound of Japanese drumming. The rhythm of rapping awakens my brain. Movement of a kayak on transparent water reflects on my skin. Inside, I am climbing as I remain horizontal.